Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to box number two of Flesh and Blood First Edition Monarch opening. Um, there you see me tearing open the sheet, uh, just like the previous video, I'm going to be just talking over instead of uh, my own commentary while recording because I did face some issues when exporting it from my phone to the computer. Anyways, let's uh, unpack this. Uh, as you can see there, there are no, uh, there's no red unlimited strip, so this is just purely first edition. Uh, these were probably opened, I think like a month ago? No, not, sorry, not a month ago. Um, like a week ago. <laughs> that was way off. I think I'm splitting it uh, between shadow and light. And let's get cracking. Oh, one extra pack there. That's probably the lucky pack. Let's open it up. Let's see what I got. Yeah, I'm not too sure why I decided to. Oh, alright, it's a cool token. I think those are the tokens that um, our, our shadow heroes can. So I've kind of got the sorting pattern out in this uh, video, in a way. Uh, yeah, Proven Generics together, Royal Light cards, uh, Rune Blade cards. There we go, first uh, Rainbow Foil, Lunatide Plunderer. Oh, and that will go into the Shadow Pile. Yeah, so there's um there's a few borders. Uh, I actually can't remember off the top of my head how many, but let's go over them. The borders are Illusionist, Light, Light Warrior, Light Illusionist, Generic, um, Rune Blade, Shadow Rune Blade, uh, Shadow, Shadow Brute, Brute. So there's like 10 different borders you have to look out for um, this time around. It's kind of annoying to sort everything out, but that's my first Majestic there. Uh, Guardian of the Shadow Realm. Uh, Majestic Foil as well, which is awesome. Let's see what I'm doing. Yeah, I think the next time I open a box, I'm going to be much more prepared. Uh, this one just had too many classes to follow to be honest. Gotta follow the classes and the talents. Herald of Rebirth, a very nice rainbow foil there. Prismatic Shield, great card. I think out of all the borders that we currently know of so far, Ninja is probably still my favourite. Um, you know what, if you guys have a look at uh, some of the Dorinthia cards, you'll actually notice that they've got a light border, like Singing Steel Blade. If you have a look at that card there, the border is definitely like a, a light generic card. Um, something just thought I'd want to point out, uh, as it's what I saw the other day. I'm just actually going to go through some other cards now. See if there's anything else. Yeah, so the ninja one's going to be interesting um, because uh, with the ninja katsu, he's got like that blue cloud, and then uh, when you look at the other actual ninja cards, it's like a different sort of uh, pattern there. That's me trying to figure out if it was um, a cold foil. Again, I was I didn't really know uh, if cold foils <laughs> applied to regular cards as well. Um, but they, yeah, for for your knowledge, uh, cold foils only apply to equipment pieces most of the time. So yeah, you should only need to look out for them with uh, equipment pieces. Like 
five minutes in now. See, the sorting looks a bit more organized, but I think because I was sorting this way, it's taken me quite a while to get through the box. It's a rainbow foil, the cracked bubble, best card in the game. If you guys have a look closely, it's actually got uh, a bigger crack now than it did before in the previous sets. I wonder what's going to open up into. spent so long on that card but that card was definitely uh there you go comparing it to the previous uh cold foil it's not it soul food plow through Come on, let's pull something interesting, Dave. That's a cool card, Minimism. Oh, and back to back V for Vanguard. V of Vanguard, sorry. I'm getting sleepy watching myself. <laughs> no wonder I don't get any views. Rally the rear guard as the rainbow foil. Alright, come on. Show us the good stuff. Oh, it's not even on screen anymore. It's terrible. Right, I've got to keep a reminder for myself to keep it centered. But I don't think I get anything in this pack anyway, but let's just see. That's a really good looking card as well, Bolt of Courage. I think that's a light, Warrior of Light card. And listen. David, that is not a cold foil, that's just a rainbow foil, dude. Oh, kind of embarrassing looking back at it now. <laughs> it's really because I wasn't 100% sure uh, if it was a first edition box that I was opening. Um, you know, they were clearly labelled um, Unlimited in permanent marker by the LGS. But when I opened it, um, yeah, they turned out to be first edition, which is uh, very lucky for me. Again, I didn't know until I opened it. That is not... Bad. There's a lot of sorting when it comes to uh, opening four boxes. I found out the hard way two days after uh, opening up these boxes here. There was so much to do. But uh, I was able to make a lot of play sets out of them. Um, that's what I actually do with a lot of my commons now. Uh, I make play sets out of them so people can trial out the game. 
Um, the only issue is uh, with play sets, it kind of gives them maybe too much, too many options. Um, I might revert back to doing um, like starter edition style decks instead. I think that would be better for people that are just starting out rather than for trying to figure out what cards they need to put into their deck. Better to just maybe have something that's already pre constructed. I know I would have preferred that. Um, first bunch of cards I bought was like a hundred dollars worth of cards um, and it was just all ninja cards with some crew some arcane rising in there as well just the generics there but I had no idea how to build the deck um, it wasn't until I started playing felttable.com where I actually learned about what cards I actually needed um, so yeah I think it's very important to maybe just choose a starter deck if you're just starting out maybe don't get a box or don't get like one of those mega boosters unless you really know what you're doing or you're really um, happy to do your own research and figure out what works for you all right there's about three minutes of the video left here um, pretty sure I pull something interesting in this uh, video as well uh, but so far it's just been majestics um, might be might be last pack magic with this one I can't even, I can't even remember what I I remember what I pulled I just don't remember when I pulled it Go invert existence. It's a, I think that's a majestic. Yeah, majestic. Yeah. All right, down to the last three packs. There's a cold foil in there. Very fast with the hands there. Seek Horizons, that's a really nice looking card. Uh, that definitely looks like it belongs in a ninja deck or something along those lines. I uh, would definitely want to put that in there. Just for the aesthetics of it, but aesthetics doesn't win the game. Huh? Right. There you go, my second cold foil. Uh, Halo of Illumination. No idea what class would use that, but look at that foiling in the light. I am a terrible person for just leaving it like that. Last pack of magic. Let's see if we can pull anything good. Alright, yep, nothing interesting, but a lot of back to back back-to-back -back rares, um, which is quite odd. I don't remember getting that type of thing back in um, the other sets, but there's a quick roundup of the cards I pulled. Don't know why I'm going so fast there. Slow down, mate. But as you saw at the start, there was cold foil, and the rest of these are just, um, just rainbow foils. Might slow this down so you guys will be able to see it more properly. Um, but yeah, I think the main pool for that one was um, all those Majestics and the Cold Foils. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for box number three. Um, it gets juicier.